12th, National Marzipan Day. Now marzipan, for those of you that don't know, is an almond paste. It's usually used in baking or they make little candies out of them. It's almost like a Play-Doh consistency. Um, so you can shape it into stuff and they make, like I said, little fruits and they paint them and they're edible and what. Anyway, it's an almond paste. So you can do a lot of different stuff with it considering. Now, I researched the heck out of marzipan. I've had marzipan before. Uh, whether I'm a big fan of it or not, I don't know yet. Um, but I do like it in a Danish. I've had it in a Danish, and it's really spectacular. Uh, so we're going to try to take two things and mash them together for marzipan day. We're going to take the idea, the concept of cinnamon rolls and marzipan, and make an almond cinnamon roll rather than your traditional cinnamon roll cinnamon roll. Get it? Okay, that's what we're going to try to do today. Um, just something different to do with marzipan. Now, I've researched the heck out of it. You can make your own marzipan. It's not that it's difficult to make. It is time consuming and it's a lot more expensive to make your own marzipan than if you just buy marzipan in the store, which is what we did today. We're not going to kill ourselves making marzipan just to try uh, a marzipan roll idea that we have. Um, if it was Christmas time and we were going to be doing a ton of cookies and stuff, then yeah, maybe we'd make our own so we'd have a nice big batch. But for what we're using it for today, store bought's just fine. Alrighty, let's take a look at what we need today. Alright, so once you actually get your store bought marzipan, you want to see it a little closer look here, it looks like a block of Play Doh. You can basically mold it and shape it. And it tastes like a sugary almond mixture. When you do make it yourself, if you do choose to make it yourself, you'll find it's basically just blanched almonds, uh, powdered sugar, maybe a little corn syrup or something, or egg whites, some of the recipes I've seen used um, to make this. And you make it into a dough, and that's basically it. But we're going to use ours, like I said, for our marzipan rolls, breakfast rolls. We might even make some of that white sugar to drizzle on the top. And yeah, we'll see. Alrighty, so what we're going to do first, we're going to take our marzipan and we are going to roll it out nice and thin. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to start by rolling out our marzipan because we want a nice big sheet of it that's going to go inside of our prepared dough, our Pillsbury dough. So you want to kind of try to make this as much as wide as you can, as flat as you can. So when we put it into our roll, it'll kind of have a uniform amount of the marzipan throughout. So it's not just like a thin, a little bit here and a little bit there. We kind of want to make it the same size as that sheet if we can. So we're going to roll that out. All right. So then once you have your marzipan rolled out, we're going to take this Pillsbury dough sheet basically the crescent dough, but it's supposed to be all one sheet, which it is. Okay, so then what you do is take your marzipan and lay it on top of your crescent dough. Break off any pieces where the marzipan overlaps over the sides of the dough, and then just use them to fill in where there's any little holes here and there, okay? Okay, so you can leave a little bit of a gap there um, with just the dough. You don't have to go edge to edge because when we roll this, uh, we're going to want a little bit of extra dough there to overlap it so it kind of stays closed and it sticks. Okay, so what we're going to do, just we're going to roll it like a, like a jelly roll, like a cinnamon roll, whatever. We're going to just roll our dough and marzipan all together. Okay, so it looks like that. Now the marzipan is rolled up inside of the dough, okay? This is kind of like what it looks like when you're making cinnamon rolls, same thing. So now what you're going to do is you're just going to cut it into nice big pinwheels that we're going to lay into our 8x8 pan, just like you would cinnamon rolls, and then we're going to bake them up. Okay, when you're cutting them, don't make them too thick. You don't want like a four inch thing here. You want because you want to be able to make sure that this bakes all the way through evenly. There you go. I guess an inch, maybe an inch. Okay, 
So before you put your sliced rolls into your baking pan, obviously you want to spray it with something non-stick. And then you take your rolls, I guess, probably, I don't know if it's important or not because I've never made this before. I don't know how they're going to bake up. But I'm trying to just make them more into a round because uh, when you cut them, they get a little squashed on one side. So I'm just trying to kind of round them out. They're going to puff up anyway when you're cooking them. So I have eight here. So we're just going to kind of spread them apart a little bit. Just so they're not all necessarily... When they blow up, they're all going to be on top of each other anyway, I'm sure. But um, we'll just kind of space them apart, okay? So I put three, three, and then two in the middle here. We're going to put this in the oven at 375, which we have preheated already. And uh, we'll just keep an eye on them and see how long. Once they look like they're pretty much done, we're going to take them out. Alrighty, see you in a few. All right, so our rolls are in the oven for another minute or two. So what we're going to do is make our icing real quick. I have a little sifter here that I use. We're going to sift our powdered sugar just to make sure we don't have any lumps when we're mixing it together because we want to make a nice smooth icing that we're going to drizzle over the top of our buns or rolls or whatever you want to call them. <laughs> All right, there's our sifted sugar. Okay, the trick to this icing thing is, as you're adding your water to your powdered sugar to make this icing, you really gotta be careful and just add just a little bit of water at a time because you don't wanna turn this into a soupy wet mixture. You want it to be like that. Little by little, as you add your water to your sugar, it's going to eventually get you to this consistency where it's drizzle, where you can drizzle it. If you add too much water, it's you're going to have to add more sugar and more sugar and more sugar to thicken it back up again. So just remember when you're doing that little bit of water at a time, either a tablespoon, half a tablespoon, a little bit, mix, 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 and then just constantly keep checking your consistency. And when you see you've got that drizzle consistency, you've got it. All right, we're going to check on our rolls, see if they're ready. Bring them out and drizzle the hell out of them. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh, look at those. Got some nice rolls there. They seem to be cooked all the way through. Yeah, okay. Let's get some icing on these boys. All right. So of course, while they're still hot, we want to drizzle our icing on there to really let it melt and on top of our rolls our marzipan rolls all right there's one of our marzipan rolls nice and flaky on the inside you can see the lots of marzipan just very it melts down uh, when you bake it obviously so I'm sure if you left it a little while it almost looks like the consistency of the icing like a sugary um, filling hot good something different taste the almond it's nice with the crescent dough Crescent row doll. Crescent row. <laughs> it's good with the crescent roll dough. I mean, it's nice because the dough is nice and flaky. And the marzipan goes good with it. Yeah, something different. <clears throat> I would definitely do this. It's pretty good. And like I said, different from your traditional cinnamon roll, um, which everybody does. Alrighty. Alrighty. Happy marzipan day. See you tomorrow.